Hello and welcome to this Lumion tutorial. In this video, we're going to share some best practices and quick hints for exterior scene building in Lumion. Communicating the clear vision of your design to a client is crucial, but it can also be difficult at times. You need to find the correct visual language that helps you to do that. And thankfully, Lumion contains all the tools you'll need to illustrate the best aspects of your designs. And in this tutorial, we'll show you how to create a compelling cinematic animation to showcase those ideas. Now for this video, we're going to use the same model that we used in the Getting Started tutorial. So feel free to open the same model and follow along with this video. We already have a few plants and some furniture in place, but let's take things a step further. And the brief we've given ourselves this time is this. Our building is situated in a densely packed urban area and we want to show our client that the back garden is an oasis of peace and quiet away from the street noise. Now we have a building, we need to create a little bit of atmosphere. Let's get stuck in. A space is only as compelling as the qualities it brings together. And aside from using different camera angles to define our main viewing points, we can use materials, lights and sounds to help convey a particular mood. And we want to make sure that we capture and enhance the qualities of our design. So let's move into movie mode and we'll create a clip. The movement we're looking for needs to be subtle and serene, without fast cuts or sudden movements. And we can navigate to the space we want to show and capture the starting point for the camera. Now we'll adjust the focal length a bit to make sure we have good framing and then we'll keep the camera straight and steady. And a quick tip, you can use the W and S keys to move the camera forwards and backwards. So let's call this our defining shot. This is going to set the scene and start to convey the mood we're looking for. And for our second shot, we're going to cover a different area of the patio, under the cantilever. And what we'll do is turn this into a tilt shot that looks from the top of the building, sliding down and facing the interior. And for this, we can use the camera presets. So we'll choose to add a new clip, select the camera presets button, place the camera in the right position and adjust the start and end angles. And to make sure the movement's not too fast, we can play the clip. Yeah, that looks great. And for our final camera position, we're going to go with a close-up that emphasizes the quality of the materials we're using. We're going to use a high focal length here as that will give us a clean and undistorted perspective. And we can also pair this up with a nice shadow movement as a short time lapse. So our angles are ready. It's now time to add some context. Let's keep in mind that the activities we show in the image will help us set the mood. So a calm garden goes hand in hand with a light read, I would say. We're going to pick a model from the Lumion library to help illustrate this. Now Lumion has hundreds of static and animated people that we can place in a scene. But since we're going to create a little movie clip here, why not pick an animated one? This lady seems to be enjoying herself. Yeah, that looks like a good fit. And we can complete our scene with a few pieces of decoration. So let's improve our background with a few trees. Now this may look strange at first, but I'm going to add some trees into the garden here just to get the ones I like. But then I'm going to use control and left click to select the group and use the gizmo to push them back behind the wall and then place them where I want them to help create a better backdrop for our main shot. Now we're getting somewhere. Now remember, in our earlier tutorial, we spoke about the importance of good scene management. So let's move all those elements to the correct layer and keep our project nice and clean. What we still need to convince our client of is the quality of the materials that we have selected. A safe option would be to use the highly optimized materials that you can find in the library wherever possible. And you can search for them using the search bar or browse through the different categories. So select material mode, click on the surface and the material editor will pop up. Look for the D symbol to select a material that uses a displacement map. And once you assign a material, you can adjust its settings to meet your needs. 
Let's say we want this one to be a bit darker. We can easily decrease the texture and change the color to black. Now we also want this garden to look realistic and a green wall seems to fit just right, I think. So we can enable the foliage setting here and turn this lattice into a green wall. Look how easy that is. And indeed, it can happen on occasion that you simply can't find the perfect material for what you have in mind. Don't worry, this is where Lumion can come to your rescue. You can create incredible materials using the PBR workflow. And it's as simple as assigning maps to each of the slots and then adjusting their settings until you get that perfect look. Lumion uses the metallic PBR workflow and can add up to eight maps for a single surface. And this will help to squeeze every ounce of realism out of those materials. I would just make sure to place the maps in the correct slots. And we have a separate in-depth tutorial that covers this and it only takes a few minutes to master. Okay, let's take a quick look at our scene. Context, materials, angles, check. Right, it's time to get ready for the final rendering. And so we're going to move to the effects area in movie mode. Okay, a little cheat here. We're going to load the FX stack that we created in the getting started tutorial as that looked good. And it's gonna save us from having to rebuild the effects from scratch. So let's click on the FX menu, choose the load effect list and just select the right file. Now, we just need to make a few quick adjustments. We'll go into the reflection effect, enable speed ray, and we'll add a couple of reflection planes. Now, we want the building to remain the focus for our shot, so we're going to add a depth of field effect onto the background and manually adjust that effect until we're really happy with it. Then, we'll copy and paste that effect list onto our next shot as well. And we just need to tweak our real sky heading to better fit the natural light in this shot. Click on preview and yes, that's looking good. Now, lastly, it's time to jump to the close up. And here we do need to make some more adjustments. Let's add the sun effect above the real skies so we can get perfect control of the shadows we want to see. And we'll adjust the shadow effect and switch it from normal to ultra sharp. Next, we'll change the settings in the depth of field to focus on our main area, and then we'll exaggerate the blur on the rest of the image. And finally, for some crisp details, we're gonna add the sharpen effect. This is a nice result. Lastly, it's time to animate the sun to give the impression of a time-lapse. Nothing too drastic. A smooth five second movement should do the job. And we'll add a keyframe at the starting point and one at the end point. And make sure you select the appropriate time on the timeline of the clip. Let's see how it looks at the beginning and at the end. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. Okay, it's time to render. We'll opt in this case for the 1080p resolution with four stars. Let's render the whole movie and see what it looks like. Now, for 10 minutes of work and around the same for rendering, that's pretty amazing, don't you think? As always, a bit of extra care and attention can take us a long way. And with a little bit more time and a slightly different effect stack, we'll be able to turn our renders from something like this into something like this. And here's some other examples of exterior scenes that have been made with Lumion. Now let's see what you can achieve. Keep practicing. It only gets easier.